In this tutorial, I will teach you how to take apart and reassemble the Rubik's Cube. And I've got one here shown in CubeSmith Smooth Sticker Tiles. To begin, rotate the top layer 45 degrees like this and then pop out the middle edge piece. Just like that. Mine comes out really easily, but if it's very stiff for you, take a flathead screwdriver and then just pop it out like that. Now as you take it apart, keep your pieces so that the stickers face towards you so that you can spot them easily. There, mine is now completely disassembled. Now while you have it apart, I recommend that you take the time to lubricate it with something like silicone spray. If you'd like to watch a video that goes into more detail on how to properly lubricate your Rubik's Cube, I've made a video on it. Okay, now for the reassembly, take an edge piece, it doesn't matter which one, and fit it into the place where it goes. Just like this. Now find the edge piece that goes here, 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 or there. And here we go, this blue yellow one will work. Just like that. Now find the blue yellow red corner. Right here, and then just fit that into place. Then find the edge that goes right here, and for me it's yellow red. And then just slide that into there. Now find another edge that will work. Okay, this yellow orange one will work here. Now I need to find the blue, yellow, orange corner. And then the edge that goes here. Just like that. So basically, you continue assembling it just like this. Now for the last layer, make sure that the center is rotated 45 degrees like this. Then take an edge and fit it into the place where it's supposed to go. Just like that. And it pops right into place. Then take a corner that will go on either side of it. And then just keep popping in the pieces until you get all the way around. And now for the last three pieces, put in the corners first. And then for the edge piece, just pop that right in. Now it may be kind of tough to put in that last edge piece for some cubes. I mean, some of them out there can be really stiff, especially really old cubes. So you may want to hold it up like I am so that these pieces have a little room to be pushed down and then just pop in the edge piece just like that. Now another thing that you may find helpful is that you can rotate one of these corners 120 degrees like that. Then when you pop in the edge piece and mix it all up, it'll be unsolvable. It's a really fun practical joke to do on someone who knows how to solve it. Or you can simply just take an edge and flip it over, but don't do it the same with a corner. It, they, it may end up being solvable. And also another note is you should assemble this in the solved position because there is a very high chance that it will end up unsolvable. But you can assemble it in a mixed up position and then solve it to the best you can and then take out a few of the pieces and put them in correctly. But I'd, I prefer to assemble it correctly. So with that being said, this concludes the tutorial.